Hollow Legacy versus Immortal Game 2. We had slight difficulties, but now we're here and Zero immediately uses his collision course. After many remakes. Yeah. Again, no, Miarfi against... Oh, now a triple top against Miarfi. Oh, did they want to help H2 Emperor level faster? Levi and Isengard against Limit Break. And they are bullying him. Limit Break stepping out of his boundaries there. Uh, instead of buying uh, attribute items, Maybe you should go with full healing. More consumables more, because uh, you're in yeah. that... Uh, Be, and now they if they kill him, it's like... And they can. A double stunning or double collision and limit break is dead. But I want to check the mid lane. Can Rovi perform well against Z Reef? I mean, it will come to the decider to who will play that mid lane. Uh, yeah, they yep. drew that first blood under his tower. As I said, you need... You need something for health regeneration. That shrine is far away from you. You cannot TP and walk back. So uh, just a banana will not keep uh, the limit alive. The triple top lane will suffer in terms of experience, but that will give Ravi and Limit the heads up in the experience lane. And Miarfi should be good here. Zero if jumps so on Ravi. He's doing this. He's like, by the way, bana banana because you have eternal blast and you can spam that eternal blast. It's, that is not helpful, to be honest. Against because you can use the shrine. And you can see mana potion and double. Just one and double strength that so he perfect. wants this Akuma to be tank here H2 Emperor killed Levi oh he rotated bot lane Not get leaving. the kill on Levi and now he can level up quicker than the last game and wave X is yeah, not we playing. have a DC but I believe Immortal will play this out in a 4v5 so if, the, if there's any chance of Shadow Legacy to take a game it will be right now they rotated to help limit. Yes, you killed our bot laner, but we are here to help him out, not leaving Zerif him saw alone. Them immediately going back. He knows. He is two levels ahead. Maybe he can try something cheeky here. Yeah, you deal think some so? Da deal some damage. Ah, that's Just, not enough. That's yeah, but not no the, mana. The Ranvir is too tanky. No mana on him as well. It's once again the two R is up top. Uh, oh, they are limit going. again. Yeah, limit again. Caught limit. Out guard. Is I think this is his first time playing on that lane. It's like he's showing us lack of skills because more this is your safety net here yeah, i cannot move up more than there you're dead and now zirif is showing rovi why he is a better player <laughs> <laughs> zirif being dominant is what you're trying to say yeah. i mean uh, i understand why limit was pushed up he just had a gank he just got a kill minion the wave was pushed in he was alone and then it was partially a gank com coming in from Immortals so to pick him off but there we see Emperor once again uh, keeping his friends back yeah, on, he, on he's the protector of this game Holy Land plus Gogmongog he will always have mana for every spell for the full clip plus he's tanky yep, more than the Akuma no 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 okay the Akuma has more items and all of that but so. We won't see a Geo. Yeah. We won't see the green Geo. We see the first Geo spawn. No team will want it, I assume. No giant killers on anyone. So Miarfi is level ahead of Viola and also items ahead of Viola. That is because he was alone against the three of them. And plus he's on the dead lane. And this is how you carry yourself on the dead lane. Good stuff coming in so far. In a 4v5 situation, Immortal are holding on pretty good. If you're Shadow Legacy, how do you utilize this one-man advantage? And that is maybe brute forcing fights is an option. A good rotation coming in, shove out. Well, your, they missed the timing your playing four versus five. In my opinion, they needed like two minutes ago to take one lane. It's either this lane or that lane. Just destroy the lane. I mean, still have a, a number up. Even and now late. they're getting kills. I think Isengard will survive. No, he cannot survive here. But Zerif can get the kill on limit break. Can rotate, yeah. With Eternal Blast, finishes the job. And now he can just right-click Rovi. But Rovi is with his friends, the minion friends. Rovi just that damage counts. H2 Emperor and SRDD immediately. Immediately. I mean, they're walking from, from this lane to that lane. like. But SRDD level 3. Oh, uh, no Molten Boulder on him, but no leveled spells. No, yeah. I don't oh, know why he doesn't have any spells leveled up, but there's one gank Miarfi here. 
Oh, they won a gank and that will be a successful, but immediately two TPs from Isengard and Zerif, <laughs> but no spells on SRDD. Miarfi caught the three of them with collision course. Isengard killed SRDD, Zerif kills Viole, and they are going for more. Oh, Rovi against both the shards. <laughs> Double kill for Zerif. Judgment in the last moment, and he, come on, don't eat that damage dive from here. Oh, Ice and God, stunning light, but no man on Zerif, that TP. I, I think a rotation was amazing, Miarfi with the triple man collision course but, manages to catch off. Come on, what is this? Oh, okay, so it's a 4v5 then. It's, it's a 4v4 is what 4v4 I'm trying to say, maybe is. SRD is not here as well. I don't know, this, this series is a bit confusing. It is. Confusing. But Immortal are getting the better hand of when it. When they climb this high ground and they stunned Miarfi, that Renvir was just a vessel, just a hero, like statue. I'm here, but I can't do anything. Exactly. Now, Viol in trouble. Isengard will chase him out of the lane. He does have a fountain to heal up, so. Miarfi can much. cast the Spellbane and just get the kill. Tier 1 bot lane down. Spellbane, I said. Yeah, I meant, I meant, I meant Earthquake. I meant Earthquake, I'm sorry. I, I said he will cast Spellbane. <laughs> it's okay, Tomiji. I accept your uh, apology and everything should be fine. Immortal now. Uh, tier 1 taken down on the side of Shadow Legacy. It is the top lane and mid lane time because they are more important towers. When you're on the Deacon side, you have to destroy the towers defending the shrine, uh, not allowing access into the jungle. Yeah, that so is that, that, that is the, the first thing the, the high ranking guilds here are trying to do get as much get as, be quicker in taking be quicker in taking the, the tier ones than just head into the shrine force a fight there be sure to win a fight there and then take the shrine take Deal tier as two much damage as yep, you can judgment on the mid laner kill him with with eternal blast h2 emperor is level three against level seven akuma and he cannot do much with only level one stunning light but limit break joins here the f here uses earthquake levi will try the save z Reef on 13 hp and he's successful with that the right no. clicks the gogmangok into the graveyard and Ooh. Zerif is now in base. Actually, he used the Z shrine. Zerif is the new ice and god. Come on. Just when they are healing on the shrine and not uh, putting these items in the slot, I'm kind of... There is still room for improvement even for the strongest of them all. Roy is here with... Now, I think they can get the kill on Zerif because he did not... Okay, so I thought that he he's supposed to go here. Yeah, this is your I mean, base, not Zerif even in previous game got caught in that oh, no. oh you see you see what i'm saying <laughs> this is what you should do actually when healing put the items in the slot heal quicker and heal full hp <laughs> tricks yep this is you learn something new every day folks yep now this is fight Tomiji. up top fight up top ice and god is safe because a stunning light and earthquake can can help you because this is an aoe as you can see if, and if they go on to him if they jump him he can stunning Earthquake, and if you have mana for collision, you can escape. Or even you can make a triple kill out of nowhere and hear me yelling on, on this microphone. Yeah, you can hear Tommy yell in. On this expensive I mean, you microphone. hear him over the microphone, I hear him right beside me. Yep, Great, <laughs> greatest experience Pretty. in your life. Aww. Wow. Viola is just attacking, but Isengard wants Isengard the kill. Isengard is really low, though. But you see Isengard... One yeah, collision course and he's dead. But, but I'm pinging on this spellbane, because he can... Uh, Pierce with the stunning light, but the rest of the spells won't go. But he's very low. We'll probably just, it's better to just back off. Levi has been catching waves alone in this bot lane, level 8 so far. Another, oh, he bought mana. Yep, mana he's lacking potions. mana. The only thing that keeps him back is the mana, that's why. Yeah, this is your. And plus, there is no cooldown when you transfer items. Oh, this is. I would say a pretty slower game than the previous one. Not that the previous one was like a that big of a stomp i'd say or that quick and decisive but this game seems to be going a little slower plus h2 emperor is level four in nine and a half minutes i think immortal previously he was level two so immortal okay. needs a fi fight now rovi and jumps fight just might have started. but there is no judgment on him ice god is here he's Good like damage. don't worry don't worry now zirif will wait for this for the spellbane so he can jump on rovi that's enough time for with the judgment, so Isengard can jump. Okay, Isengard blinks, collision, stunning. Zerif gets the kill, and I missed this. I missed this blink. Come on. I believe I missed it as well, so... Last game, we missed it also, and now Miarfi is killing Kemperor, and now Immortals are starting to play.
Levi is solo. Oh, is Limit break is chasing him. He just decides against oh. it smart. Levi can just heal up if quickly. If only his collision was here. It was ready. It was up quicker. But that is the tier ones down mid lane, top lane. The shrine is next. The on, the, yep. on the checklist for the side of Immortals. And not just and the shrine. I it, think they they forcing fights. They are forcing fights there. Because the enemy knows, hey, I can heal while fighting. And Immortals are pulling off. But it's just a secret plan where you yep, deal it, damage on the shrine. And yep. you just... Once the shrine is gone, the tempo is reduced. But with Holy Land, they cannot win a fight on the shrine. Healing plus Holy Land? No. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Maybe you can sacrifice a couple of deaths. Judgment on Miarfi. The fight starts. I think the fight starts. Yep, the fight starts. They try to burst Miarfi, but Miarfi is still alive. Viola gets the kill with Earthquake. Limit break TPs. Disengage. Must happen. What? Well, okay. One man for almost half the health of the... That's like a third... I believe of the health gone on the shrine. Tradable. We take those. If you are Im immortal, Miarfi, sorry, the substitute, pick on the new guy. He will get taken out of the game. Age to Emperor now. Uh, just hit level six, man. That is yep, yes, level amazing. six. Holy now Land immortal is cannot activated. fight on the shrine. They must protect this tower. They must protect this. Like last game when late game they tried to take tier one and everyone TP like that. That's showing the determination of immortal we win but even if you nah never mind nah tommy g is mad everybody no i'm not oh zero if kill limit break we missed that yeah we missed that because Oops. i'm trying to find zero if on the minimap so uh, it was somewhere in in that bot lane and now tier zero threatening the tier two but tps can come in however if they do the shrine is vulnerable Robbie is here there is no okay Robbie must hide behind this tree I assume oh, he's not hiding. Judgment should come out. Nope. We'll decide against the chase. And now the problem is if anyone comes to contest Zerif in that bot lane, for example, let's say a teleport or two are used, that gives the rest of Immortals the green signal to go for the shrine. Yep. Because and there's also at least tier two, two people. And uh, maybe other threatened tier twos. So I like that. L a bit of side lane pressure coming out from Immortal. You know what? First, if you and take this one. And then you go for the shrine, they cannot TP here. The only way that the enemies can come is from here. And you, you have a clear information in, in mind. But if you go for the shrine and you have this tower alive and this tower alive, then there are two ways, two possibilities. Like they can come from here, from around, from everywhere. Rotations yep. are rota yep. are a bigger chance. Okay, limit now. break is... allowing limit. Limit break will die here because, yeah a lot of stance stance because oh actually what am i no 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 no, no. i'm i'm wrong you're wrong I'm, yeah i'm wrong because i thought the stunning light is on me Arfi, but the double eternal blast but still they, that it's fine deals Just a lot of damage chain cc limit a bit i want to see a fight on the shrine plus holy land h2 emperor will cast it and this is the be the worst holy land ever in battle for geostone because he will just die now and immortals now are confident going to the shrine but they will just disengage because this is how you do yeah it just pick up a kill i mean by the time he respawns uh, just another 10 seconds he will have it again so and zero if he's full cash not that scary zero full, <laughs> full cash full cash that's a new word and i like it maybe you could have just casted it on uh, mystic Stand. on the ori when she got caught. oh limit break again no Once no again, no limit no, break limit. you should know your limit no your limits but you just came to lane guys come on he just respawned and walk back imagine what he was thinking like i'm walking bottom lane i want <laughs> to get some i want to get some no. crips no, and Zerif all again, of a taking... sudden he's there Jovi judgment on Zerif immediately regrets his decision h2 emperor tps he's like i'm going to cast this time the holy land in a way that oh they struck the TP on Zerif, H2 Emperor, Holy Land, they are taking now They need to run oh, again the Holy Land. Well I mean the Holy Land was just to not die, I guess, but nothing can happen. The two of you uh, don't have the damage enough. Maybe if you had one more member, could have picked off Zerif there. But just not enough damage in, in general because no earthquake on the Gomangog means yeah. No damage, that was my... I'm checking for the cooldown on the ultimate to see if there is a spell with a lower cooldown than Holy Land. And yup, I found one. It's called Judgment, 40 seconds. The best pickoff spell. You need to make it 
45 Amazing. seconds and then the Holy Land 60 seconds because 45 seconds on Holy Land Come on, limit break and Viola full clip onto Mjarfi, but Ison God is here, the save God. He was a bit late, a bit late, but Zerif is here, don't worry, I got gotcha. you. H2 Emperor, again, if he has Holy Land, then this spell is, come on, overpowered. But Levi is here, and they up, the spell is overpowered. They will going to destroy them. Triple kill for Zerif, triple kill for Zerif. And yeah, they're going triple coming in yeah, for Zerif. It all started at the back of Shadow Legacy, finding a decent pick on to Miarfi there. He was a bit overextended, Limit doing a great job catching him out, but then it's it's immortal that the rotations are just on point. Managing to get three back for Miarfi, and you're like, yeah, that's a trade deal I will accept every day. <laughs> SRDD. SRDD and Wavex not in the game. Ooh. A 4v4, yes. Rovi made Zerif few spellbane. With just, just by threatening presence. Yeah, 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 just by his presence. What? Just by his threatening presence. Zerif scared. No mana on him as well, so... Blink we'll on Ice against it. Blink on Mjarfi. Blink on Wavex, but not this blink game. Blink on Wavex. When you see Wavex, uh, toss him a blink. Hmm. Game slows down. It's game fine. Game slows down, it's fine. Limit break. Can I die expect again. the same thing to come. Zerif shoving in his A side lane, forcing Shadow Legacy to go there. Yeah, Rest of Immortal do uh, more things on the map. Spread around, clear waves. Once again, this shrine is the main prize. And there's Levi and Zerif rotating here. Viol now will see them. Collision course. Double spell bane. Used by Levi and Zerif, but they just want the shrine. Robbie judgment. using judgment on Levi at the perfect timing when the spell bane wears off. But what? So now what? Three versus three. There is one missing. It's okay. Icing God and Limit Break. Everyone is here. Initiated. Limit Break jumps with the blink. But what now? Icing God is also here. And Zerif is most monster kill. Strick is dominating. Killed with Rovi. There is one core missing now. Limit Break is fighting one versus one with Zerif. While Viola and Emperor are guarding the shrine, Levi, Mjarfi, and who just blinked and Zerif disengaged from this place. He got the kill. Now they're going for more. H2 Emperor, where's your holy land? It's on cooldown. Levi won't die. I think that he won't die. They're just attacking the shrine. Stunning light from Icing God. Zerif is here. Someone blinked ice and blink. And now triple kill for Zerif. Go for the quad kill judgment. It's level 7. He's easy to get killed. Quad kill! <laughs> <laughs> Knocking quad on the door, kill. quad kill! Quad kill coming quad, out, which quad, is basically... Quad, 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 go for the rampage! Give him ram, ram, rampage! No, no, no. Oh, missing! He missed three or four attacks. I'm exaggerating. Ten attacks. Never mind. It's fine, they do manage to take one in return. But I mean, it all started on that shrine fight, right? And the weirdest uh, quad kill. Im Immortal just... That, yeah, that was one of the weirdest quad kills. However, that is also a team wipe, technically, because it's a 4v4. But it all started on the back of the shrine fight, right? Immortal come in, trying to do some damage. Shadow Legacy, decent defense at start. They do lose one. But I mean, I think Limit just overchased in the mid lane, picking him off, and then returned from Immortal once again to clean to clean house. By the, the way, Isengard was here. He he came last to the fight, and he was waiting for his timing to jump and use Blink. But Limit Break did that first, and then Isengard was like, "Wait, wait! I will wait just a second, and then he jumps. Actually, he beat him because if he it's jumped and then Limit Break." After him, the nice and god play would have been destructed. The one who laughs last. Laughs. I want to see. Hardest. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something like that. I it. think that was how it went. Now I want to see like Wavex blink into five people. I mean, not Wavex. He's not here. We know yeah, Ice and God well, is Isengard last. It's jump. it's up to Zerif and Levi. Double Mystic to Staff. That means Zerif this. can kill Emperor. Nine. Well, only. What's the, this number? 897. Eight, yeah, 897. <laughs> you had difficulty saying that number. No, it's difficult for me to see from here. Oh, it's difficult to yeah. see. Excuses. The last digit, oh, the last wow. digit. I could not see the last digit, but talking about digits, one kill for for Shadow Legacy, and they're, they're going for more. Why not? Miarfi's on his back foot. He's running for his life, but Limit Break will chase him. This is his time mm -hmm. to shine. TP on the wrong side, and the bad tower, second tower. Ison got his in. Blink. 
Collision, stunning light, no try to get the kill, hold it and was casted for... Okay, it was valuable, but I'm not sure. Well, maybe and, uh, Emperor, going... no cooldowns, no mana, nothing he can do. Rovi. Even Rovi has nothing. I'm trying to move the camera in a way, triple kill for Zerif again, go for the quad. <laughs> quad kill. Uh, once again, I feel like every fight in game 2 has started with something Shadow Legacy doing proactive to pick up kills, <laughs> yes. and then just Immortal responding better and picking off more people. The stunning light is level one. It's just enough. You just need to stun him for a couple for a couple seconds. It doesn't matter if it's 1.5 or is it 2.5, you know? Yeah, but... You just have to yeah. stop him in his tracks. Hold it right there, partner. 100 damage. 100 damage. 100 up, up to a maximum of two seconds. See? Mm, it's nothing. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, duration. You the duration yeah, at the moment is one, one second. Se yeah. yeah, it goes from one to two. But the damage and plus it's AOE, 250 yeah, and plus with nice. Mystic Staffs. That's nice. That can hurt. But level one cannot hurt. And that's that's it. Now we see the classic Immortal coming in again. Is Are all the tier twos down? I believe yes for the side of Shadow Legacy. No tier twos. Zero for them. Will he go judgment. for the judgment? Oh, Edge 2 Emperor is here. He is like, I won't let you go. One versus three. But this is the perfect timing. Until they. Okay, yeah, this is immortal. This is it. The second earthquake oh. did enough damage. An immediate, immediate triple kill for Ice and God. The God itself, Ice. <laughs> that was a, a eternal blast triple kill. With one eternal blast, everyone was low yeah. from the earthquakes. The second One earthquake. Blast. The second earthquake just did dropped the long, HP did bar. A lot like, of damage, actually. Just, and now immortals are banging on the door of Shadow if they, Legacy. If they kill Rovi now, I think it's it. Oh, Ison got jumped, oh, but the, he missed the collision course, and he, Rovi just tries to get the kill on Z Reef. But this is what you. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. I said this like a thousand times, and yup. Miarfi kills Rovi. They are here to pick it up. Yeah, Do they can go. go for they the can go because for 45 seconds on Rovi, and if they kill them now one by one, which I'm not sure because they're lacking They'll mana. Just go for the tower. That's totally fine. It's what I wanted to say. You either go for the throne immediately, or you head on and destroy the rest of the tier threes. Mm -hmm. And that's the what they're gonna do in the middle. Tier three, very low. Uh, and we'll back off. So yeah, back yes, off, slow and steady. Regroup. We are in trouble now. In trouble. Yeah, it's okay if he died. Like they uh, used spells. Oh, oh Isengard is here, trying to save his friend, and also H2 Emperor cast that Holy Land again. It a bit of preemptively it's not Holy Land there. Maybe before Ice and God's combo, so you cannot take the damage. Levi kills him and break, and Miarfi is like, I'm happy I have friends like this. <laughs> I escaped on 100 HP. So they went, they regrouped, and Shadow spent a lot of spells trying to get the kill on Miarfi, but Ice and God saves him, and now they are in this bad position. They are in this bad position. They cannot fight. Tier 3 down, mid lane, it's only the top one that stands. Immortals don't need to take it. Technically, they can force a yeah, fight in their base, but I mean, why not? It's I just Immortal more can just goal. kill the Geo now. I want to see them kill the yeah, Geo. Yeah, they can, they can easily kill the Geo. I don't I th think they're gonna. They just don't care about the Geo. It's like not a part of their game. Yeah, but they can. Yeah, I also want them to. We saw, we saw, we saw Pacheris taking the Geo without Giant just, Killer. Yeah, no Giant Killer 4 mana on the blue Geo, that is. On the, oh, but th that Geo is weaker than this one, am yeah, I right? Yeah, it is. But this still, is an amazing Geo, the red one. I mean, you can sacrifice one or two guys for this Geo. Sure. But you cannot lose the game while they <laughs> respawn. Imagine you lose it after then. No, no, you can't. You Giving can't. Shadow Legacy no. a glimpse of hope. This is the Heavy this Axe. Game. Last time we saw the Heavy Axe on Levi, that was two fights and then they end the game. Now, two fights, we'll, we will see one fight for the tier, then they will go and regroup, they, then they will come for the last fight and then the throne. Okay. If it happens like this, I'm, I'm a master... Statistical I'm analysis <laughs> coming in from Tommy G. Okay, I what? think now they will fight for the for the tower. Tower? In unleashing, Zeref is dominating, they're going to get the kill on H2 Emperor, and in the meantime they're ki killing Viole, and Emperor, as I said, now the only guy left is Limit Break. But they can, like, not chase him and just go straight for the throne, because the Heavy Axe is ready, the Eternal Blast are ready, double kill for Zeref, and now they, oh, they got, uh, they killed the guy that is level 3, they killed SRDD. Yeah, they Limit killed, is still alive. And they're chasing this guy on the throne, Limit Break, Limit Break. 
They're just gonna go for the throne. Yeah, they're going for the throne. So game two, even, game two. So it's not even two fights, it's just one fight. They over, yeah. over chase him in the base. No tier threes now. Ice and God still shadowing, but you have to Ice and God. The way that he's jumping, it's like yeah, in slow motion. Game two! 